Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. Hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you're watching, and if you want to sell your cards on the Fanatics Collect weekly auctions, we are a consigner for Fanatics, and I think we're, I don't want to toot our own horn. Do it well. We're doing more submissions than most people thought we were going to do. We, we've, uh, we are uh, communicating with them a lot because they're like, oh, how many cards are you sending in? What? Okay. What? Stop it. We didn't think you. We thought you were breakers, not consigners. No, this has been good. You guys are selling your cards. We love it. DynastyBreaksLLC at gmail.com. Email me. I'll send you the auction details, how it works. Uh, we basically are going to get you 100% of the winning bid price for any cards over $50, uh, selling for over 50 and a little bit less if it's under 50, 50, a little bit less of a percentage. Here's your teams for Topps Chrome. I won't read them off because I've been talking a lot. We're a little behind schedule. And, uh, you know, I got my own Funko Pop. It's kind of a big deal. It's I got my own. a huge deal. You should get one. We should get a CJ one. Uh, Jasper doing his first break. I do want to point that out. Welcome, Jasper. Long time chatter. First time breaker. Yeah. My wife loves her champagne bottle. Yeah. What is mine? A coffee or a beer? I think it's a coffee. I think it's a I it's a it's, slim can. Well, it's coffee because it has like the the sleeve over it. It looks like it might be coffee. It's a weird looking coffee. It's a step. Well, no, it's like the Starbucks. Starbucks. Colors. It kind of looks like I'm having a Zima. It looks like a slim can Zima. You like those Zima. dainty cans of beer? Dainty. Dainty. Oh dang. Oh, they're releasing a Funko Pop of a certain person. A Voldemort Funko. JH initials. That's a big deal. I'll have to get in line at GameStop and sign up for it. I haven't been to GameStop since I was a fetus. <laughs> what? what? I haven't fetus. been to GameStop in a long time. You can buy cards there, I hear. You can. You ever go in there and buy some cards? Nope. No, you ever I go usually, into GameStop with your singles and be like, hey, you want to trade? Are you guys buying? I usually I dislike going into GameStop because it means my son is uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. spending money he shouldn't be. Oh, man. Not the Zima. Are you the big Zima drinker, Doc? Doc, what are you drinking? Are you a uh, draft beer guy? Are you a... Uh, are you a, a you know a gin on the rocks kind kind of guy? Are you a, a whatever's available kind of guy? Are you wine? Are you uh, drinking uh, you know Smirnoffs? What are you drinking, Doc? Or do you say I'm a doctor? Drinking's bad for you. You don't. I don't drink. He probably is a Cabernet kind of person. If I was gonna guess. Wow, is that fancy? Elevated. He's got a palate. A palate. I don't know. I think Doc's is kind of a country guy. So it's either Miller Lite or Cabernet Sauvignon. If I pull his 101, I have to say his name. That's the rule from Jamie. That's cool. And also, Jamie owes me big time. I'll allow it. Wow. Beer. Large head, small body. It does. You can't even see my body. I'm just like a floating head here on the uh, screen. I might not even be real. I might be artificially created. <laughs> we all might be just AI here. I'll give you $40 credit for that PSA Jordan Auto says GameStop. Hey, what a deal. All right, moving through the base cards pretty quick in this, as we tend to do. Jason Dominguez, Jason Dominguez, is how I think I'm supposed to say it. And when I go really fast on these, they blur these Chrome cards, so I'll try my best to have a good pace while not making you guys dizzy. Just saying. Your rebay. Dr. Pepper and pickles. What does that mean? That's a drink. Oh, by the way, what's everyone having for dinner tonight? Oh. It is break number two. Everyone that's watching, in the comments below, tell us what you're having for dinner tonight. We want full details. We want side dishes. We want what, how you made it. What, what, what's the inspiration? Tell us about your dinner this evening. Doesn't matter what day you're watching the video. Just let us know. It's Dynasty tradition. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz. So what Grandpa's saying is a new uh, internet sensation, Dr. Pepper, with pickles floating in it. That's disgusting. And it's supposedly the next hot thing. Are you going to try that at home? I'm gonna, I'll am i give it a whirl. I don't really drink sugar sodas. I only drink diet. So what about diet Dr. Pepper with pickles? Oh. I, Sounds do, risky. Do that at your own risk. I don't really drink the sugary sodas. 
All right, Luis Fried Green Tomatoes. Uh, that is going to go to the Giants. That's a purple refractor to 250. The things people think of. Right. Fried chicken and rice for James. What kind of rice? Um, Jerry. Uh, Mike Trout, throwback. They, oh, winner, winner. Oh, wait, there's a contender. What do we got? Day old convenience store hot dogs. Ooh! More than one beat after that is reheated McDonald's cheeseburgers. Jackson Merrill, you guys are struggling. Uh, White Langford, walk off today. Ellie De La Cruz, look at all these cards we're top loading. We might run out of top loaders. Jake Berger. Go with the poor man's French tips, please, Carly. Poor man's French dip for Carly. Beef and cheddar sliders or just regular sub sandwiches. So lazy, lazy, or lazy. I'd go with the lazy. Jeez. I'd go with the uh, not much work involved. Oh, yeah, Derek. I think if you're going to do a Dr. Pepper pickle drink, just, just go ahead and throw some. Hey, Doc's drinking Natty Light. I drink Ultras, Doc. I drink Ultra with the lime. How do you feel about that? We're kindred spirits, Doc. Kindred spirits. Speaking of spirits, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's for dinner, Jamie from Georgia? What's for dinner? You're probably having a lettuce leaf or something. Jamie's uh, withering away. He's lost like 197,000 pounds. All right, we've got Max Scherzer Orange Refractor. We'll give a boom to the uh, Rangers. Almost turbo lift. Got ground antelope tacos topped with Mexican four cheese blend. Shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, seasoned brown rice, and fresh watermelon. That is number one currently with a bullet. Rich is always, uh, no onions, right? Rich had onions yesterday. Oh, that's a good one. Wrapped cabbage rolls, pork, tomato, gravy, mashed taters. Yeah, Votto's retiring. What a career, man. What a career, Jamie. What a career for that guy. Summertime in the park, Boba Shett. Rodriguez, Aaron Judge, all etch. Are we going to get an autograph, by the way? Hey. Hey, that's an auto. There you go, Rangers. <laughs> we'll boom right over the sentence there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Texas Rangers and uh, Brian from the great state of Kansas. Oh, mommy. Walk off homer today. Good time to get that one. Walk off single. Oh, I thought it was a homer you said. Uh, well, just a walk off. Sorry. Oh, well, that's no good. Nobody cares about that. That's not clutch or anything. <laughs> in a one to nothing game? Yes. Oh, I didn't is. watch. I don't know. Sorry. I'm here in the office slaving away. Grilled chicken and salad. I like Grilled it. chicken and salad. You know, Jamie, it may not win the best in show, but it's winning the best in health. Yes. You know what? Tomato gravy. <laughs> so ketchup. Real tomato. Real chicken and Real. salad. Jamie's Jamie, I'm proud of you, Jamie. Real tomato ketchup, buddy. Whataburger ketchup. Hot honey chicken sliders. Chicken bacon ranch. Crinkle fries and an ice cold Mickey Ultra. I like it. Hey, is that winning? The ground antelope is still my vote. Homemade hot pockets. Stuffed with zucchini. Alfalfa sprout. Limburger cheese. He's making sausage. it up. Don't even read it. And Dave's Canadian making it bacon. up. Dave, oh, you're out. That's nice. Dave, you're out. You're just making stuff up. Dave's not real. It's a good combo. Nah, he's just trying to mess up our contest. Dave's out. Dave loses. How do you make a homemade hot pocket? Dave's homemade hot pockets. Now that is real. He's done it before. It looks like an alien. He stitches them together. It's like it has this stitching. It's like this big, you know, alien looking thing. It looks like an alien was having a baby or something. It looks like a pregnant alien. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. Pregnant alien. I believe in you. I don't believe in aliens. Steak tips again. Uh, last time. Oh, yeah. Steak tips again. That's okay. Sounds good. You haven't had chicken since the early 90s since your wife cooked it. And it could have run off the table. What? What's happening? <laughs> What's happening here? A little undercooked. All right. <laughs> Learn my lesson from Dane. No onions on break nights. What is, let's get a boom for that. No onions on break nights. You did not have purple corn with the mayo sauce. Dave, you've cried wolf one too many times. See, now I'm not going to believe you even when it's real. Put a picture in the break 
Yep, I want to see the pic. Post. I want to see the picture of it, Dave. I want you to coin it as well. I want it to say Dave R I N on a little piece of paper next to the meal. Hold the newspaper up next to it. Yep. You had two slices of Swiss cheese. Congrats, guy from Utah. I didn't know they allowed Swiss cheese in Utah. Stouffer's chicken Alfredo, peached iced tea, butter pecan ice cream. Mmm. Butter pecan ice cream. <laughs> you need a Simpsons sound effect thing too, mm. so we can stop doing it. Mm. Do that, we get a good card. Uh, we haven't had a Seinfeld reference in a while. Nah, we haven't. Yada yada yada. All right, Davis Schneider. Hey, Skaboo, Squadoosh. <laughs> what is it? Squadoosh. <laughs> Something like that. All right, Parker Meadows. That's whatever Kung Fu Panda says. Uh, Junior Camonero. Michael Harris. George is supposed to be here tonight when we do the vault. He said he wanted to come by, stop by, say hi to everybody when we're doing the vault. Uh, Tyler Glass now. Forgot to mention George will be here maybe. Uh, Tyler Glass now for the Dodgers. Spooky. It looks like he's walking. Look at that. It's like his foot's right up on the border. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Uh, you smuggled the cheese from Idaho. Okay. Uh, Christian Yelich. I don't like Potter's comment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to read that, Potter. A ballpark Frank and yeah, a pickled just, beer. Yeah, we'll just leave it at My that. My glorious king, Bryce Harper. Oh, man. Better top load it. Goldschmidt. And uh, oh, what oh, what oh. autos are we getting here? Jason Dominguez Blue Ray Wave Refractor Autograph. And I'm, I'm going to admit here. I'm not a big fan of like 9 billion parallels, but tell me that doesn't look really good. That is a great looking design on a Yankees card. 36 of 150. Let's go get it, Derek. Doing his first vault tonight, I believe. Uh, there you go. There's your first vault hit, Derek. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games, Derek. You impressed with that? Yep. You alley, I oop. Jordan Alvarez. Carly Alley's, I just uh, run away. Even when Alley's in here. Yamamoto rookie. Was that, wait, standby. Was that a Yamamoto refractor? I don't think it was. We have an Otani insert that I'm going to top load, but I want to see. Oh, no, it was base. Base, base, base. Checking to see if it was refractor. All right, this Otani is a butamus. You're going to get to see Shohei. You're going to get to see... Stop, stop hyping it up. Man, you're going to get to see Clayton Kershaw. You're going to get to see Shohei in Los Angeles. Yeah, Mookie's probably going to be playing. Where aren't you going? It's got to work out. It's got the stars have to align. Oh, work out? You're not going to be doing anything that late. You never know. Just you tell them, I got something to do. I'm not feeling good. I got to go back to the room. Cough, cough. <laughs> ah, I got to go back to the room and then drive over to the Dodgers game. <laughs> Trout catch, refractor. Catch a cab. You're in L.A. and Kershaw's pitching. You got to go watch, man. Bobby Witt, Refractor. Oh. Hey, Bobby. Hang on, hang on to that for your MVP candidate. You know what I mean? I know. That might be a $40 trade-in because it's a Refractor. It would be double the normal. Hey, Evan Carter, welcome. Welcome back. I'm glad he made it just in yeah. time. Oh, Mommy, buckle up. How good is this box? Ultraviolet All-Stars Mike Trout Green. These normally look a, a little bit lighter green. This is the actual green. That is 9 of 99. Super uh, hard to get insert. There you go, Angels. Uh, I'm not going to mark it as a hit. Aaron, Aaron at the, the bar. Aaron, you always get something good. Ultraviolet All-Stars. What a great box. Adley Rutschman. It's a nice break here. They got all quiet. Because you keep pulling the heaters. I think it's just the heat. It's the heat in general. The heat in the heat in general. The heat is. Mm, hey, that's a uh, that's Glenn Fry, isn't it? Glenn Fry. Uh, all right. Yes. This young man is a good young man. Anybody? Hey, do you ever eat at uh? Do you ever eat this restaurant over here, Pioneer? Yes. You ever go to Pioneer? Been a while, yeah. You do go to yeah, Pioneer. I do. Yes. Do you go to multiple Pioneer restaurants? Just one. Go. Do you I, go I, to Pioneers? I, I love going to Pioneers. Do you ever go with your dad? 
it's been a while since I've taken my dad Matt to Pioneers. Um, is it your first pick out of all the things you could pick? Or is it's, it the first dude, pick? It's usually at the top when you go to that restaurant. Yeah, they have they have amazing sides. It's a really good underrated restaurant. Good chicken fried steak. Yeah, they have brothel. Man. So it's your first pick when you go to Pioneers. Yeah. And sometimes you take your dad. Yeah. I love my dad, Matt. Mm. Interesting. My, my little brother doesn't come, though. I think he's that's not, what... He's not there yet. I think that's worse than Dane just talking about it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, maybe true. Do you ever go? Yeah, do you ever go on a holiday like a vacation? You're going on one to L.A. You're going to L.A. on holiday. Yeah, right. Good thing I'm not going to Baltimore. Baltimore, all about. <laughs> Quit cheating. All about. Quit cheating. I'm not cheating. Dude. We're talking about a restaurant. It's called a uh, Pioneer. It's here in it's here in town, isn't it? It is. There's like seven of them. No, there used to be. There's, there's like four, three. maybe. I don't know. Three left. Yeah. There's like the the dad and then the two sons. Yeah. I think. That are still relative. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> Gumby's not impressed. Oh, John, prayer's going to you, but John, you just, oh, John just made the vibe go down. Oh, it's okay. It's a John, a prayer's for you, man. I'm sad yeah. now. We're all sad now. Spend as much time as you can with your parents. I lost both of mine by the time I was 50. Not really where we were going, but well, prayers for you, John. Heart, yeah. Sorry to hear that. It's way too young. Hug your parents. Save at least one voicemail from one of your folks. From your folks. Is you you could go see Phil Jackson while you're in LA. Is he still around? How about Genie Bus? Aren't they a thing still? Aren't they an item? <laughs> Isn't he dating Genie Bus? Jeez. Maybe I'll meet LeBron. Just wow the he'll hands He'll cry. Off of all y'all. You'll shake his hand and he'll go, eh. and he'll fall over and he'll go, hey, where's the foul? Oh, he'll shake his hand. Probably hit me in the face with his gold medal. Gold medal, schmold, <laughs> skettle, or his championship ring. I don't know. Is that the only thing he has more of than Jordan? Is gold medals? Does he have more? Jordan has two. Does Jordan have two? Yeah, 84 and 92. Okay. So, uh, no. He's not the goat of that either. Um, all right, Dane Myers. What a great name. Does Durant have four? I don't know. Jackson Merrill. He might have one. It's co I think it's uh, Mr. Carroll's birthday today. Is Corbin, it? Corbin Carroll. Happy yeah. birthday, Corbin Carroll. Uh, Zach Grinky Green Refractor. Winky Grinky uh, to 99. Kansas City. Braun has three. <laughs> Dane just went up to death. <laughs> Comment. <laughs> Dan. Oh man, that's rough. What is it? <laughs> he said I got that beat. I lost both mine before I was forty. Oh man. Oh, it's getting rough out there. What are you guys doing? Why are we going this direction? Oh, Why are we going geez. this direction? Dane Myers refractor. A lot of Danes in here. Uh Aaron Judge insert. That looked different. That you? judge it, insert looked different. Then what? Than like the normal, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a refractor. Okay. Just base. Like refractor. there's no, I thought there would be art on it or, oh, I guess I first time I've seen that insert. You're different. Sorry. This conversation in chat's different. Uh, Junior Camonero, 89 tops. I will top load that. Why not? I'm a nice guy. Oh. Autograph Drew Millis. It could be Milis. I'm not sure. That's going to go to the uh, Nationals. Allen and. Alan and speak up, son. What are you? Alan and Alan on the double team. So quiet over there. Smoke. Alan and Drew. Alan. It's not a competition. <laughs> it is not a competition. Well said. Well said. Not a competition. Yeah, that boy. Those pioneer restaurants. Man. Got me hungry for a chicken fried steak, Dan. Oh, when you got a hankering for a hot, fresh, dripping chicken fried steak. Cut a, cut a beef. All right. Uh, Sander. So I have a dinner question when you 
Purple mini diamond Xander. Sure, I'll, when I'm opening I'll, packs. I'll Save it. Bogarts. Sorry. Save it for when I'm uh, opening packs for the you next box. It. You got it. Two ninety nine. Don't forget it. Okay. Don't let me forget it. Sky says at least you guys met your parents. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> wow. Okay, that's the worst. Like it a, can't get worse than that. Like so. adopted. Everyone move on. Uh, Shohei Otani. They don't know about parents in Utah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, straight from the coven. <laughs> yep. Hey, we churned yeah. this butter a long time and a person crawled out. Um, <laughs> hey, there he is again. There's that guy. That guy we all know and love. That we all think about constantly. That's cool. You're cool. Uh, Gene Carlo. Triolo. Jackson Merrill Refractor. That'll work. Summertime in the Park. Aaron Judge. Insert. Why Fishing Goat 2. This conversation, please turn it off. See? Well said, Doc. That's a doctor right there. He said this is not good for our health. Not good for our health. Neither is thinking LeBron is the goat. It's bad for your health. All right, oh, summertime in the park with my good friend that's going to go in a top loader. Oh, yeah. Verlander. Maybe I should just sing every time I get his card. Uh, Austin Wells. Jason Dominguez. Did we get an auto in this box? Yeah, yeah we did. Drew, Miles Touch. The Miles Touch. I see what you did there. Let's get some uh, Judge Base, enough of those inserts. I agree. You notice you don't get a lot of Otani and Judge Base, but you get a lot of the inserts. Enough Maybe a little bit less credit going out. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not saying that that's a conspiracy. I'm just saying those base cards don't seem to come out very often. Um, all right, CJ? Yes. What were you going to say? So, food talk, break two. Where would you classify the filet versus the porterhouse in ranks of steaks. I don't eat then, a lot of porterhouse. And do you have a preference on other steaks that you would order? Do you say like, this cut of steak is superior? You only get one, what are you gonna pick? I'm going filet. Yeah. How about you? I, no, I'm just putting it out there. I just wanted to get your opinion. Favorite cut of meat. Cut steak, not meat. Favorite cut of steak. Yeah. Please don't sing, says Doc. So, so technically, on, the porterhouse is both a strip and a fillet. Correct. So you could two birds. You ever had a tomahawk it. steak? No. I want to eat one of those. That looks just like cool to eat one. Let's do it. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? The Del casino. Frisco's the casino. What casino? Cross the cross the border. They have a steakhouse still. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, they don't have tomahawks. Can we in go there. to Ruth Chris's? I don't. Is that in Fort Worth? Yes. Del down. Frisco's has them. Do they? Is that downtown? 200 a pop. Oh, oh, buddy. 200 a person, probably. I no, I don't want to do that then. Man, you, you drive, your wife's driving a Cadillac. We can go to Looters in New York. You go there. It costs more than 200 to get to New York. Yeah, it does. Let's just go down to Dallas. Your wife's driving a Caddy. Got, you can afford it. We've got two votes for strip. Dave says ribeye. My wife would like that answer. She's a ribeye guy. I love ribeyes. Man, do I. They're kind of fatty. That's all I don't like about them. That's my favorite part. Ribeye is nice. What bet did I lose? I don't know what bet. What bet are you talking about? Filet hands down. I'm with you. Tomahawk from a, straight from the cow. Hey, tomahawk is a lot. How much does a tomahawk go for, Doc? Raw? A couple hundred? No, I mean just like if you got one in a nice steakhouse. Probably 75 to 50. I think more than that. Have you got a Papa's Brothers? Probably get one there. At Del Frisco's, I got a filet and it was 125 bucks. Well, that you're going to the wrong steakhouse. No, Del, you don't understand. Have you ever been to Del Frisco's? No, dude, they they make their steak from alien spacecraft. I don't know how they do it. It's amazing. I don't know how they cook it like that. Look at the menu. It's insane. Give Addison, me, the one me, in Addison. Give me a minute. Addison, Del Frisco. Give me a minute. Oh, they don't have prices. They have no, money. they don't have prices because you don't want to see them online. They don't. Yeah, poor man. What if your buddy made you tomahawks from his cow? There you go. Those are free. They sell them at Sam's. 
I wonder how many ounces a tomahawk is. It's usually two pounds, I think. Yeah, but I'm not cooking it because I'm going to ruin a very expensive cut of meat if no, I do it. No, you could do it, man. Well, I could do it, but it's not going to be like it should. I'll do, I'll cook one for you. It's like a sports card. It would be like having the Honus Wagner T206 and you hand it to a kid that's got spaghetti all over his fingers. T oh, you oh. just don't... don't too valuable for that kid. I'm the kid with the spaghetti. And I'll, when's your, I'll cook you one for your birthday. My birthday's right now. Okay, let's end the show. Let's end the show and start <laughs> cooking. Let's go get some steaks and wait for them to see. Nah, them let's go to Del Frisco's. Do they have one there, Tomahawk? I don't know. I didn't. Well, I didn't look up Del Frisco's. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I looked up Papa's Brothers. No. Del Frisco's, you Addison. Don't, you don't like Papa's Brothers? No. Why? It's ridiculous. Have you ever been? I want to go to the best place in Dallas. That's the best place. I'm just, just curious. Have you ever been? Never. Then how do you know? I will take you to Del Frisco's and you'll talk about it till you're an old man falling around and doo doo in your shorts. Uh, Aaron Judge base. Just telling you. Crystal's mom's goatee tickles me when she hugs us goodbye. Says Dave. Why did Dave just say Interesting. that? Why did he say that? Um, okay, so interesting. Labor Day. They have tomahawk steak event, it looks like. Oh. Tomahawk for two. Hey. Let's share it. How much is that? <laughs> At no know. price? Uh, Slade Sacconi. This is going to be the uh, blue wave to 75. Slade Sacconi for the D-backs. Otani insert. You wouldn't trust me. It's just like, hey, Dane, we're going to eat some steaks and i was like hey i bought you this tomahawk look if we're gonna pay 75 bucks for a tomahawk at sam's no it's not that it's not gonna that be cost. good quality though it's not that not that, that expensive yeah but it's not gonna be the right even if it's 50 and you have to cook it yourself it's better to pay 125 and you get the best cut of meat and it's cooked by a professional you know what i'm saying Oh, I'm just saying. You're just taking the. Wind. It's like buying a Ferrari and putting low grade gas in it. So, be like, if you bought a Ferrari, you wouldn't want to drive it. You'd be like, oh, I'm gonna let my no, driver drive no, it. No, but you can't put low grade gas in a Ferrari. You can't let a uh, like someone like Carly cook a tomahawk. Golly, you gotta get, you gotta let the pros do it. All etch rookie rush. He's coming to visit us, CJ. And this is that the gold. That's the gold. Evan Carter. Or is it yellow? I don't, I don't know. Oh, wow, that whole thing. I don't know anymore. Where's my uh, numbering on up this? Top right. Oh, up top. Five of 50. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. There you go, Rangers. Summertime in the park, Ellie. I, dude, I really think I could, like, wow you if you let me. You have to lady in the tramp the tomahawk. It's the only way Dane shares food. <laughs> wow. Like, like I hold the, the bone and Dane takes a bite of the meat? Is that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> hey, you should send your... That's gross. You send her uh, screenshots. You send her all the screenshots, Crystal. You tell on him. The ribeye sizzlers from Dollar Tree are delicious. That's what I hear. Uh, Josh Young, Rangers again. Rangers having a little uh, tomahawk here. Guys, we're going to be a little bit late for the next break, mainly because uh, our first break did not fill up on time. And uh, you guys are slowing me down. Just kidding. Uh, Matt Olson. We got a football mixer up next, and then the Dynasty Vault after that. Ellie De La Cruz yeah, base. El Ray. No cap, bruh. El Ray, I would let you do it. But most normal people, I would not let. I feel like it's too much responsibility. It's too risky no. to buy that big of a nice cut of meat and then let, you know, just a run-of-the-mill cook handle it. I've worked in a restaurant before. I know what I'm doing. You're making sandwiches. Never had a Philly cheesesteak at my spot, huh? You're that's, making that's sandwiches. Who is that? What team? I hate you. <laughs> Walter. I <laughs> guardians. He hates me now. God. Walter. It's just a matter of time till he hated me. Jeez. Um that you just like you <laughs> You're making sandwiches. So did you ever saute anything in a pan back there? Like, did you have to use some type of chemistry to create a perfect recipe? You better believe it. I can't believe you just like dismissed me because I used you to baked make bread and when I was 16 years old. You don't think I could cook you a steak you don't, to knock your socks I out? I don't think that I improved do you cooking steaks. 
Yeah, what, no, learning nothing about temperatures and grills and all that fun stuff. And burgers. That's like saying I drove a um, 1980 Datsun pickup, which I did back in the day. It was horrible. Uh, that I'm. It's going to make me a better F1 driver. Man. Man. Well, it's got a steering wheel. <laughs> kind of. Man. It's like short order cook. Like, nah, you can't do that, boss. Yeah, it's like taking your tomahawk steak down to Denny's and giving the guy behind the counter, hey, you, can you cook this I for me? You're, you're giving this tomahawk steak some pedestal that does not, does, it doesn't belong It on. deserves it. No, it doesn't. It's just a cut of meat. With a big bone in it. it. If we, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> if we go to Del Frisco's ever, and we have one, and you think it's the greatest thing you've ever eaten, will you come on this channel and tell everyone? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. Jeez. I'm going to say tuned. that wouldn't be the cut of meat I'd order at Del Frisco's. Oh, you're ordering it. It'd be porterhouse. You're ordering it, or I'm, I'm, I'm going to go crazy in the restaurant. I'm going to start screaming <laughs> in the restaurant. Oh. I'm going to start making a scene. Jeez. I can't believe I just got like dismissed because it used to make sandwiches 20 years You're ago. You're saying that has, it doesn't have anything to do with cooking steaks. It gives you an idea of how to cook and interact with ingredients in a very like challenging environment. Short order cook? Come on, making how many steaks, chicken fried steaks or whatever at a time? Sandwiches, burgers, wings? Man, that's that's hard. That's some hard medicine you're trying to make me swallow. Hey, man, bro. I just like to keep it real, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a difference between Deli Planet and Subway sandwiches. There are. Yeah. Oh, your sandwiches were great. Oh, they, right. But I'm just telling you, they were sandwiches. <laughs> they're not porter. They're not tomahawks. So you've never had a sandwich that you would be like, man, that's the best sandwich I've ever had. I'd rather have that than a sit-down meal. At a are you asking me if your sandwiches make the top ten? No, no, just... Just if you would, you've ever put a sandwich in your like all time favorite meals. No. That's a bummer. That's some elitist stuff right there. If someone makes me a sandwich, I don't say they cooked my sandwich. <laughs> Man, I, you're a good cook. You made me a sandwich. What? Right? Geez, you're killing me. You're not a cook if you're making a sandwich. I think your eyes are a little closed to the That's why Carly's having a sandwich tonight. Sandwiches. She's, she's not cooking. Uh, forest Wall. Run, Forest Run. Away from this conversation. Braves. Hot Lana Brian Will. <laughs> you put it on the company credit card, Dave? I'm telling everyone. Uh, are there open spots for Optic? I think we're sold out. Is that right? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know why we're sold out, but we might be. Oh, I just moved the tab and it's uh, messing with me. Mackenzie Gore to 199. Aqua Lava, CJ's favorite hairspray. Oh, Nationals. Yes. One eight. He's getting four, four left. I didn't know. Yeah, four spots left there uh, in optic football. Oh, my bad. Dynastybreaks.com. I didn't know you were so. You, you take great pride in those days. What? Well, it's not about. The pride of just saying like you're being dismissive of like the possibility of what you can learn in any like bottom level job. I don't. I think you can only learn about cooking tomahawks properly with cooking tomahawks. A steak is a steak, buddy. A sandwich is a sandwich. (laughs) Is a sandwich. No, it's not. (laughs) No, no. True story, says Doc. Thank you, Doc. Grocery store near me with restaurant. Pick your cut of meat out of a meat department. Take it to the cooks. Don't remember the price, but they throw in a baked potato and a sweet tea. How do they do on the cooking it, Doc? Do they do well? Are they the guys making the sandwiches too? How do they How do they do cooking it, Doc? Man, what's the what's the spot in Soho that's known White for their pastrami sandwiches? They are cooking. what's Soho south of Houston Houston Street in Manhattan. Oh, I got you, Clayton Kershaw. You're gonna see him. Uh, that's your namesake. You're gonna see him this weekend. All right, uh, Matt Chapman, Magenta Mini Diamond Refractor to 350 Giants. Oh, I see a jersey card. It's going to be game used. It is the Giants as well. Logan Webb. Logan Webb. You can actually see what game Logan wore this jersey by using the hologram code right there. You can see that little code. Put that in on MLB.com. It'll tell you. It's going to Logan. No, no, it's not. It's going to Michael. My bad. Michael. Sorry, Logan. (laughs) It has been taken out of your hands, Logan. Yoink. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> you got yoinked by the sandwich uh, artiste. Oh, whoa. The Picasso whoa. of sandwiches oh, over here. Limmer's fighting words, bro. The Picasso <laughs> of sandwiches. Cats. Yeah, you tell them folks at Cats that they're not cooking your sandwich. They're not cooked. But you didn't cook at Cats. <clears throat> I'm just saying, it's an elevated sandwich. Like if there's two plates, maybe. Oh. Stacked up. <laughs> Corbin <laughs> Carroll taking shots, taking shots. Trevor Story, you're going to storm out, aren't you? All right, uh, Cal Raleigh, Bellinger. Just nothing wrong with a good sandwich. That's true. El Ray, would you let uh, someone making sandwiches, would you, would you let them cut your high-end cut of meat, El Ray? Would you let them do that for you? Would you feel good about it, El Ray? That's my question to you. And I would trust El Ray with my... Uh, Awesome cut of meat that I just bought at the high-end meat store, whatever that's called, the butcher. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz Refractor. Should we boom that one? What do you think? Heck yeah. So somebody just said that Cats isn't Soho. I thought anything south of Houston was Soho. I thought it was in Manhattan. Yeah, it's on Houston Street. Oh, gotcha. South of, right? I don't know. I... Trout, summertime in the park. One more box to go. Yes, Lower East Side, south of Houston. It's delicious, know. says Doc. It's well, amazing. The pickle there, probably my favorite pickle I've ever had in my life. Can I say this, and will you either agree or disagree? I, I don't know. Man, hey, we're in rough waters right now, brother. <laughs> it's like, uh, what's that Mark Wahlberg and George Clooney movie? They're, uh, it's getting pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what? Okay, the first time I have a tomahawk, yeah. I would like to have it at a high-end steakhouse. Is that okay? That's fine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, hey, you can you can get as excited or as worked up on your decisions and like being positive about your decisions as but like being dismissive about somebody's potential is interesting for me to hear. So what if you wanted to do something at a high-end place, whatever that is, let's say it's eating a steak and your friend goes, Don't worry, no, don't worry, I'll cook it for you. How do you tell them no without being dismissive? So, <laughs> maybe I don't understand your question. Yeah, like let's say you're me and you yep. want to, you want your steak to be cooked at a high-end steakhouse the first time you have one of those. But your friend goes, nah, you're not doing that. I'm going to, let's go in the backyard. I'm going to cook it up for you. How do you let them down easily? Well, sometimes you're so excited about how you're going to, about the experience that you'll, you'll take it as it comes. And you'll just remember and work off of that memory. So how do you let your friend down without being dismissive? Just say, no, I really want to go to Del Frisco. That, that, that's all you got to say. There you go. That's all you got to say. I changed my comment to that. All right. And you're going to go with me, bud. Okay. <laughs> Bring the wife. I'm going to sit in the back seat the whole yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Bring the wife. Uh, it's going to be 400 for you guys, probably. 400 for us. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of memories. And uh, you're never. You're going to be talking about it for, for 10 oh. years. Oh, man. You get whatever steak you want. You can have a bite of my tomahawk. I'll pick it up, and you can have a bite. I'll hold it out to you. Oh, dude, I bet you that, that bone is probably going to be so hot. Don't say that anymore. That, the big rib bone. Yeah, I got you. Don't ever say those words again. <laughs> yeah. 99% of restaurants yeah. are not cooking gonna, a cut of meat as well as Dave. I'm going to say the guy that's probably cooking your cut of meat at a restaurant was one year removed from mopping. What's wrong with mopping? Nothing at all. I'm just saying. Like, What's wrong with mopping? Experience comes in all shapes, sizes, and sandwich shops. You made a you made a good sandwich over at Deli Planet. I'm not gonna get crazy. You made a good sandwich. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, dude, this was 16. It's not. It wasn't like uh, you know, five star like New no, York City not, stuff. I mean, hey, we're not trying to throw that out there. You were a very positive uh, person in there. I liked eating in there. It was, you did a very fine job. All right, we've got the Braves. JP Martinez to 150. JP Blue Refractor. JP wants his tomahawk uh, cooked at a nice place, too. He's like, hey, why can't I do that? Were you telling me about the wine markups at restaurants? No, but they're probably pretty massive. 
Well, somebody was telling me that the cheapest wine is oh. is not the biggest markup wine at a restaurant. It's always the second cheapest because if you go on a date, a guy and a gal, and somebody's like, well, I can't look cheap and order the cheapest bottle of wine. So I'm going to order the second least expensive, and that's the most So that's the up. most sold one, so that's they the mark most, it up? Yeah, that's the most marked up bottle of wine. Ellie De La Cruz? Dang, do one better and find a steakhouse that has a veal tomahawk. I'm not a big veal guy, are you? Uh, at times, it's pretty good. It's been a while since I've had that. Though. Kansas City Royals Purple Autograph Refractor. That is a uh, Anthony uh, Veneziano. I bet he makes a fine tomahawk. 18 to 250. Tony, Tony V. Tony Veal. I don't think you're pulling enough Atlanta Braves for this tomahawk talk. Tomahawk talk with Dynasty Brinks. <laughs> it's always something different we talk about, isn't it? it yeah, it, sir. You never know what you're walking into, CJ. Landmines. Landmine, landmine. Mike Trout, all itch. All itch, rookie, rush, in manga. Boom. <laughs> Delayed boom. <laughs> Cubs. I'm like, where is this guy? What's he doing? He's upset about the sandwich still. <laughs> yep. All right. And manga. Quit being so upset. Quit being so sensitive. You're so sen you're so sensitive. Um You and Dave cry on your birthday. <laughs> you both cry on your birthday. All right, we've got Colton Kowser to 199. That is a aqua refractor. He's got his baking glove on there. Maybe he's about to cook a uh, tomahawk. <laughs> About to pull your sandwich out the oven. Sandwich oven for a sandwich. Get out of here, Jackson Cheerio. Garrett Cole, Bryce Harper. Oh, skadoosh, skadoosh, <laughs> skadoosh. I like that, skadoosh. Freddie Freeman, skadoosh, skadoosh. Does that mean liquid or something? Skadoosh. Oh, I think it was just like the. Kung Fu Panda move when he was trying to skadoosh. Carrie Carpenter. Press the Fabulous Five or the, oh man, Furious Five. Hey, by the way, we're doing a football mixer next. We're a little bit late, which means we're going to be a little bit late for the vault. Bear with us. Uh, the first break did not fill up on time. That is why we are late, guys. Should have been uh, right on schedule. All cards ship in Tops Chrome. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll be right back with football.